Hello, everyone. I'm Gina. Languages are organic. I say that because vocabulary has its own life. For example, 100 years ago, no one knows what is the internet, and right now, I believe not a lot of young generations know what is a beeper. So actually, a lot of vocabularies represent an era. Now let's take a look at those new terms in China in recent years. 内卷，内卷，内 means inner, inside. 卷 means roll, like 春卷 Then what is inner roll? It is a term that refers to a phenomenon in which individuals or group excessively compete with each other to achieve high standards, often at the expense of their mental and physical health. For example, the regular working hour begins at 9 a.m., but your colleague A decided to come in 15 minutes earlier to impress the boss. Then your colleague B decided to come in even 30 minutes earlier. After a month, everyone comes in at 8 a.m. This culture of internal competition is very tiring. That's why we have another term for today: 裸辞。裸辞，裸 means naked. 辞 resigning a job. Naked resignation. It refers to the practice of quitting one's job without securing another job offer beforehand, or leaving a job without a safety net or a backup plan. It is increasingly popular among Chinese millennials who feel trapped in their current jobs or want to pursue their passions without being tied down by work. The next one is 房奴房奴 literally translates to house slave. It actually refers to someone who is heavily burdened with debt due to the cost of buying a home. And who feels trapped in their financial situation as a result? The term gained popularity in China due to the high cost of housing in major cities, which has left many young people struggling to afford a place to live. And that's how they become the slave of the mortgage of the house, 房奴 Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you next time. Bye.